Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we're going to do a little more uh, Morphopolis. And uh, let's see. We did level 2 last time, so let's see what level 3 buggies over here on the right side. So, uh, alright, I'm like just gonna start clicking stuff. So it looks like our dragonfly friend needs these little, I don't know, pod things. They got little tails on them or something. Oh, here's another one. Okay. We need four. Three more. Oh, there's another one. Um, oh, here's another one. I wonder if this is like the last level where we're gonna have to like go to a different area to find the rest. Though it looks like there's just one more, so. Probably it's here. I don't know. Down here in the thorny bushes somewhere. Oh, here it is. It was hiding. Well, like they all are, but this one was hiding better than the rest. Um, okay, so our dragonfly can fly away, apparently. That was exciting. What's next? Oh, so we are this little grasshopper down here. Oh, <laughs> he did a little dance. And he threw some glitter out too. Well, let's see, where's he gonna walk? So he's, this is definitely a different bug than the last two levels. Where can we go? Where can we go? We can go up here. just move on to the next section, I guess. Um, I don't know, I didn't click on those little colored bugs, though. Let's see, do they need anything? Okay, they do need something, so I might as well take care of that, like, while we're here. Uh, okay, I need ten of these really kind of pretty, like, rainbow, rainbow drop leaves. I think that's the best name I can come up with it. It's just kind of an accurate description. I only say two. Um, hmm. Okay, I think we probably are ready to move on to the next section since I don't see any more of the rainbow bubbly things. Here's more of them. Three. bunch of these ones that have like the pink in the middle it's obviously not the same one this kind of looks like we're in like a tropical place these flowers definitely look very like exotic okay well let's click on the bee let's just click on like different creatures and see if it, any of this is going to do anything so the bee needs legs. Okay. Just like our grasshopper friend needed legs, I guess. Our bee friend needs legs too. That's not a leg. Um, I don't know. Do you guys see any legs? <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like I can go any further than here. Unfortunately. Okay, well, maybe... 
back down, we'll find some legs. I don't remember seeing any legs. It's so bizarre what what little bugs do in their world for their little bug friends. This, this seems to be like a common occurrence that bugs are just missing their legs and need their friends to go find them for it. Just laid up on their backs, legless. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that we need down here. Okay, maybe I need to try clicking on more stuff. Like, uh, nope. It's not doing anything. Alright, um, alright. Nope, not seeing anything. Still. Oh, my little, oh, my little dance and glitter does a trick. I, I thought that was just a coincidence on the last frame. So my little, uh, shitter, like, glittery shimmer dance, it opens up these little peapots. Uh, and I, like, crawl up this one. Oh my god, I jumped. Holy crap, how did I do that? I just jumped. I didn't even press anything. So this is just um, just a mouse based game. You know, oh my god! <laughs> so how do I how do I jump? Okay. So it kind of just jumps automatically when you click on an area that you want to go to. Um, I'm just gonna keep trying to walk over here. I'm not sure. My little dance do anything here? No? Nothing? Hmm. Well, I'm discovering new skills, but I can't put them to use quite yet, really. I can jump across this thing, but I can't jump over to this pod. <laughs> He's just gonna do the hokey pokey or something. Uh, I mean, that's real cute, but not, not very useful. Over here. Can I jump up on this? Oh no, that didn't work either. Okay. <laughs> just, we'll just hop back and forth until we can figure out what the heck we're doing, I guess. This game is just trying to figure out what the programmers were thinking. <laughs> uh, darn it. Uh, we'll just keep going back and forth. At least, at least we have lots of pretty things to look at. That's kind of nice. So, I'm a little perturbed because I'm really not. this side. Uh, well, I see my friend's leg here, so at least I got something. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to get here. It's... Okay, wait, I'm walking past that one now. So apparently all I needed to do was just continue walking. Just continue walking. What's the point of the jumping then? I don't... Just practice? I don't know. Okay, whatever. So we're moving on. We've got more of our leaves here. We do our little glitter... Glitter shimmy. Do the glitter shimmy. Do it. There you go. So we can keep... No. We can keep walking the other way. <laughs> this little guy, you know, he's... 
He's a little uh, rebellious. He doesn't like to just go on the straight path. Oh my gosh, what the hell? <sighs> mm -hmm. All right, let's try this again. Clearly clicking higher up in the frame is not going to make me move forward. I don't understand why. Okay, here's some legs. Here's some legs. At least we're finding legs. This is good. Oh, and some more rainbow leaves right here. And what is next? Hmm. Do his little dance. Glitter dance. There we go. I I'm so tempted to like click on these little peas, these little colored peas in the pea pods. They just look like something I need to collect, but they don't um oh they are something I need to collect. Look at that, my instincts are amazing. I'm getting all of them. These little rainbow peas. What are you doing, dragonfly friend? You look like you're hoarding a lot of stuff up there. You want some out you don't want to share with other people? Well, that's kind of selfish. Well, that's all the stuff I collected for him. Um, let's go back down and collect more rainbow peas. Look like little, I think they're like little skittles. <laughs> that would be an interesting like packaging idea for skittles. Just put them like in little pea pods that like fly open when you do a little glitter dance. It'd be like Pez for the new generation. It'd be like Pez for the millennials, you know, because. You know, yeah, you gotta keep everything updated. So all the kids will think it's cool. Okay, so I gotta put on my rainbow peas. I have to deposit them in uh, that little, um, I don't even know what you call it. Everything in this game is so weird. I'm like, I need words to describe things. It looks like a ladle. Put them in there. Oh, look at that. It's like a little scale. A ladle scale. A skatel. Alright, we got the skatel balanced out. Let's see. Um, oh, here's another leg. We just need one more leg for our little upside down bee friend who laying on his back right now. That's pretty much all you can do when you don't have legs, is just lay on your back and look really sad. Did I miss a leg somewhere? I mean, that looks like it's attached to him. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Buck leg or bee leg. 
I don't see anything. Maybe can we go up higher? I feel like we've done a lot of climbing already. Can I jump over to my... Can I jump on the back of my dragonfly friend? No. The dragonfly looks like it only has one wing. But it was able to fly earlier, so... It's like an optical illusion or something. Um, oh, here it is. Oh, finally. <laughs> Man, it's really camouflaged in there well sometimes. So who is this for? Oh, right, my little buggy friends downstairs. The whole gang. Little, like, rainbow bug gang. All just chilling there. How come all my bug friends are like just chilling and like I have to do all the leg work, you know? Just collecting stuff for them, like what a bunch of lazy butts. Alright, so we're in our first puzzle. Oh, this is very pretty. Hmm. Oh, I think it's like a memory game, it seems like. Oh darn it, I wish I didn't pick one in the middle. <laughs> Okay, red, yellow. Oh, it disappeared. What? Green. Oh, they don't match. Okay. Um, one had three spots off. Okay, red and purple. Okay, no. Uh, blue. Okay, no. Understand why they're. Is it not matching colors? Is it matching. Oh. I don't think it's matching colors. I think it's matching the number of dots. Which I have not really been paying attention to. Six and six. Okay, yeah, that worked. Oh, that's definitely. The color's like just there to distract you. One of those had four, I think this one. Darn it, no, that was six. Or eight. Okay, cool. So we got the last two. Well, that wasn't so hard. That was pretty easy. Once I figured out that it wasn't about the colors, it was about the number of dots. These are like, they're like little colored domino buggies. So, all right, well that was, they just, um, let all the leaves fall. Alright. Still gotta find my friend's leg. I'm like, uh, I almost want to keep checking this bottom floor just cause like, I'm afraid I missed it, you know? Cause I didn't know what I was looking for back then, but I, I really don't see it. guys think of my uh, sound quality this time? I'm using a different microphone that like, right now I'm using my, uh, what's it called? What is this thing called? Oh, the H4N Zoom. I've had this one for a while and uh, I feel like it's pretty good I like just picking up my voice and not getting, you know, like background sounds, like the whirring of my computer tower or Stuff like that. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Does it sound better than the last um, video I did with this game? Just recently, I was using a different mic for that one. Um, man, I'm just having a heck of a time finding the last leg for this bee. Maybe that'll teach this little bee a lesson, you know? Keep track of your legs, guy, because rely on other people to find them for you. That's a good life lesson, I think. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, he's missing an antenna, too. Oh, we got all his legs. Here, we just need one more. Darn it. I have 
to say I do like um, what they've done with the color in this game and the textures. There's a lot of like, like a lot of the textures are very uh, like watercolory. Oh, I guess we're going back down. <laughs> this grasshopper man, I think he's got like memory issues or something. He's like, oh, I do that all the time. Or like, I get up and I walk into another room and I was like, oh shit, what did I come in here for? I don't remember. I was like, God, I'll come here for something. Then I have to like walk back to where I was and like rewalk the path and like re remember like what it, what it was I even got up and went into the room for. Can we keep going up? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Thank you guys for being so patient. <laughs> this is like, you know, it's a good thing this is an ASMR video and it's really just meant to like help you relax and go to sleep. If this was just like a normal gaming video, people would probably be like super annoyed right now because I was like not finding the thing I need to find. Okay, I'm gonna click this. This question mark is supposed to give me a hint somewhere, but maybe I'm not in the right f frame to use it if I click on this question mark. <sighs> okay, it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Let's go all the way down again to the first frame and try the question mark. I'm really just at a loss here. Should I jump back over? I don't think there's anything over here. <laughs> I mean, it's really fun. <laughs> Whee! Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything over here for me to get. I mean, I don't actually even have to make my grasshopper touch the item. As long as I can just, I just click on it, then... Oh my gosh, look at that! It's hiding behind the... That's why the leaves fell. Okay, so there was... There was a reason the leaves fell, because I was supposed to see that. It was still really obstructed behind that stick, though. <laughs> Alright, thank god. Alright, thank you, question mark. That was very nice of you. Question mark is my friend. Alright, let's give the bee his legs now. Yay! And I guess he's still just gonna chill for a while. And now I think about it, that grasshopper that we gave his legs to in the last episode, he didn't really... He stayed there, huh? He didn't move. It was just... It was just me glowing. It like started glowing or something. Okay, well, I, don't I don't know what we need to do next, guys. <laughs> well, if you don't know what to do, just do a little glitter shimmy. Can we move up yet? I'm actually baking something in the oven right now, and I don't know if you guys can hear that beeping. Um, because I think it's about done. Uh, let me go check on it really quick if you guys. Just hold on a second. Oh, uh, 
what am I doing? I was supposed to go back downstairs so that we can talk to our little bee friend. Maybe I, maybe I need to do a little dance for our bee friend to get him to like, you know, get motivated here. Come on, guy. Oh, come on, guy. You can do it. Come on. Wake up. Oh, well, it might be one of those situations where he's just kind of, you know, depressed or something. I'm not sure what else to do. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it looks like the bee. Oh, okay. So he needs his antidepressants. Um, so we need to collect these little antidepressant bubbles around here to help our bee friend feel better so he can feel like he can take on the day, you know, he's been, sounds like he's been down and out without his legs for a while, so it's kind of affected his mood a bit. Um, let's go back downstairs because I think there was some more antidepressant bubbles down there. Yes, there is. saying stuff. Um, definitely don't, you know, go tell people. Yeah, grasshoppers are short memory. <laughs> That's goldfish. Anyway, my place smells like brownies now. And when these brownies cool off, I'm going to be very, very happy. Munch on brownies. Almost as happy as this bee is right now. Or as much as he's about to be. Once I give him his medicine, and now he's glowing. What does that do? <laughs> well, he's glowing and playing lots of music. Hmm. Maybe he is a bard. Maybe that's, uh, his profession, he's a bard. So he just, you know, makes beautiful music for us to hear. Oh, is that who I'm supposed to be then? Is that who I'm supposed to be? Is the grasshopper from the last episode. Oh my god. Oh, I see now. There's a continuing story, I think. Maybe on the next level, will be the bee or something like that, right? I don't know, maybe it's just random. <laughs> we'll find out. Well, it didn't do anything when I went and talked to my little friend. I clicked on him and everything. We didn't do anything. I'm not sure what the next thing to do is. We can always use our question mark buddy if we need to, which I might right now because I'm just lazy. Okay, so there's nothing up here we need to do then, fine. Actually, it's not that I'm lazy, it's just that like I'm impatient. I'm getting impatient. Okay, no, nothing, nothing. So then what? There was a lot more puzzles last time, too, because we've only done one so far, right? There was like several puzzles that needed to get 
activated or something. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, this is so weird. No. 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 I don't think I'm okay with this. No. That's... Okay. That was... That was... I don't know what that was, guys. <laughs> and apparently we needed to just crawl into the bee for some reason. Do grasshoppers do that? Do they crawl into bees? What kind of world is this? This is such a bizarre game. <laughs> um, well, all right, that was exciting. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'm gonna go enjoy some brownies now and uh, keep an eye out for the next one. We'll just do level five of Morphopolis. Okay, bye guys.